everybody, Holly here from Holiday Any Day. And today I thought we'd play with puff pastry a little bit. It's such a handy thing to have in your freezer. It lasts forever. You basically have to plan ahead maybe half an hour to thaw it out, that's about it. So what we're gonna do, cause it's summertime, is make a fresh heirloom tomato puff pastry tart. So let's start with our cheese level. What I've got here is I've got cream cheese and I've got goat cheese. And you could really, you could almost use anything, but we're gonna do this today. You just gotta let it soften a bit, come to room temperature. Goat cheese can be a little firm. So that's, we're gonna do that. You could also use the herbed, already herbed goat cheese, but I'm gonna make my own. So to this, let's add some garlic. Let's add some fresh thyme from my garden. And let's add some fresh lemon zest. We'll give this a quick mix. It, the lemon zest just gives it a bit of a, um, just bright vibrancy, shall we say. So we'll give that guy a little mix. Okay, let's set this one aside. Now, I've got some puff pastry. It's been thawing on my counter for about a half an hour. Be real careful with this, do not let it get too soft. I made the mistake the other day and it did not puff. So we've got this guy. Let's flour our roller just a little bit. And I think I'll make, I guess I'll make a big one. You could totally cut this up into like little individual squares would be real pretty. The other day I did a long rectangular one. Well, let's give this a go. We're not rolling it out a bunch, just to kind of, eh, just, just a tiny bit. Okay, that's just fine. Okay, now let's take our goat cheese. Offset spatula. If you have trouble spreading it, you could go ahead and put it in a piping bag. That might make it a little bit easier, but this is pretty soft. We're gonna spread it all over and we're gonna leave an edge though, because we want it to get nice and puffy on the edge. See, just a little tricky to spread out. Okie dokie, so as you can see, I've left eh, maybe a half an inch to an inch all the way around. And just make sure this is real soft because it makes us a difference. Okay, there we go. Now. Beautiful heirloom tomatoes. And arrange them as you see fit. I'm gonna do a bit of a mosaic because the colors are so pretty. But whatever you like. You could do this in individual squares and just do big single tomatoes. That would be fine too. Just, you know, be creative, be artistic. It's not rocket science, right? I tend to be kind of a symmetrical person. <laughs> You could do all the same color if that's what you had. That's whatever you've got on hand. Those are wedged in there pretty nice, huh? Okay, now let's go ahead and brush the edges with just a little bit of egg white. At this point, if it's gotten a little bit warm, I would pop it back in the fridge for just a few minutes. So I think I'm gonna pop this in the fridge, mm, maybe 10 minutes max, and then we'll pop them out Put them in a 400 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Then we can serve it at room temperature or we can serve it hot, whichever you like. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna transfer him onto a baking sheet with my parchment. You notice we've, we're on parchment. Slide him over just like that. I'm gonna pop this in the fridge for about 10 minutes, let it chill, and then we'll pop it in the oven. Okie doke, so my tart has been in the fridge for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna sprinkle it with a tiny bit of sea salt, just a little bit. Okay, because tomatoes love their salt, as we know. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for about a half an hour at 400 degrees. Okie doke. So 400 degrees, 
about half an hour, I'm gonna check on it about half that time and flip them around. Okay, our tomato tart's been in the oven for about a half an hour. I flipped it at 15 minutes and it was looking beautiful. Check this out. Check this out. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh. Now we're gonna let it cool, and then I'll show you how we're gonna serve it. Oh my gosh, look how fabulous this tomato tart turned out. It is gorgeous, isn't it? <gasps> I can't wait to bite into a piece. So what I did was I just cut him up, I sprinkled him with some fresh basil, a little bit of fresh um, grated Parmesan cheese, a little olive oil. So let's give it a taste. Mm. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Mm. Oh my God, so do I for? Mm. Mm. You gotta make this. Mm. You will impress your friends. Mm. Cheers, it's easy breezy.